Hi, Blackbird fans, and welcome to the second edition of the Jack Perry Show. We're here with head coach Jack Perry. Uh, coach, congratulations on your first head coaching victory last week against Columbia. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. And uh, let's talk a little bit about that Columbia game, uh, a game that kind of started off as a defensive struggle but ended up uh, opening up in the second half. Yeah, you know, we, we, we really talked about the defensive end. Uh, obviously, the first four games didn't go our way, and it was more the defensive end that more than anything else. Uh, so our guys did a really good job of setting the tone in that game, holding them to 19 points. Uh, obviously, that effort um, we, we took a little bit out of us on the offensive end, um, struggled on the offensive end a little bit. And in the second half, they, they got their wits back about them, handled their uh, uh, zone, deep, uh, zone defense well, and, uh, you know, the outcome was the outcome. Uh, Jamal Lasfer, Julian Boyd, and Jason Brickman combined to score 51 of the team's 70 points in the 70-61 to 61 win. Uh, this past Saturday, uh, took on Lafayette at the rack and came away with another win, 71-60. to 60. Um, Talk about how difficult it is to prepare for a non-conference team for a second time in a season um, with a two-week break. Well, we were fortunate, actually. Um, Lafayette plays a lot like Columbia. Their, their roster um, and is, is very, very similar. They have a really good point guard. They have some shooting, and they have a big guy down low. So that prepared us. The Columbia game actually prepared us really well uh, for that. And, again, it, it was really the defense more than anything else in that game, and our guys really uh, stepped up to the challenge. The defense in the second half held Lafayette to 34% shooting, uh, 39% overall. A special game for a trio of Blackbirds. Three players recorded double-doubles the first time that's happened since 1997 at least in the Stat Carrera. Um, Jason Brickman had a special performance, 10 assists, no turnovers. Talk about how impressive that was as a point guard. Well, Jason's an impressive kid. He really is a talented individual. Uh, again, I'm going to really start on the defensive end of things. He did a great job on their point guard, um, and that set the tone that way. On the offensive end, you know, Jason just has a tremendous talent. He has the ability to pass the ball, um, you know, whether it's in transition or in the quarter court. Um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a special thing, and, I, you know, you really can't say much more about it. You know, the shooting has been great for him as well, obviously. Um, the guys have to, to respect his three-point shooting. He's shooting over 50% on the year, um, and it's great to see because Jason really is uh, our hardest worker. He's in the gym more than anybody else in the morning, at night, uh, whenever he has the chance. So um, I'm, I'm happy for Jason that he's gotten off to such a good start. Brickman, uh, top 10 in assists and in three-point field goal percentage in the nation. Um, impressive start for him. You have Hofstra coming up on Saturday um, at the rack, looking for your 30th straight win at the rack. Talk about the rack, not only as a home court advantage, but what it's done for the program overall. Well, Rack's a great, it's a great home court advantage. Obviously, you win this many games in a row. There, there's got to be a reason. Well, obviously, you know, being at home and being in your beds is great. But, you know, we have the fan support. Everybody comes out and, you know, it, it gets really loud in here. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a great place to play. Our guys are, get excited about playing at home. And, and uh, hopefully we can continue to have the same success that we've had. Hofstra with a 3-6 and six record. Talk a little bit about the team that's coming in here, led by Penn State transfer Taryn Bowie. Yeah, you know, Hofstra, you know, they, they've, they're they losers of the la their last four, um, but they do have a lot of talent and size. Um, very different from our last two opponents. Um, their three, fours, and fives are, are, are much bigger than ours. Um, they're very athletic. They're good on the offensive, uh, offensive glass. And then they have two really good guards, um, the kid Mejia and Bowie both. Um, are talented guards that can get in the lane and penetrate and create for themselves. Um, and it's going to be a tough challenge for us. Tip-off is scheduled for 2 o'clock at the Rack on Saturday, December 8th. Hope to see all Blackbird fans there. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Dan.